Hey there, it's Brittany, and I am back with one of my favorite days of the month. It is Sam's Beadbox Day Below the Waves, June 2023. I'm super excited about this. Have not looked inside. Let's see. Sam uses all recyclable packaging for shipping, which is awesome. Ooh, my favorite candy. We got Werther's this month. And um, let's see what Sam had to say for this month. Below the waves, over a decade ago, my family visited the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Oh, I want to go there. We, uh, he st we stayed on Heron Island, which was surrounded by astonishing clear waters and a vibrant coral reef. I remember feeling shocked when a turtle swam right by me while snorkeling on the first day. It was something out of a Pixar movie. Sing rays were also common in the area, particularly during high tide in the morning. Rachel, who was much braver than I, would willingly and excitedly wake up early to swim alongside them. I was content to stay on shore when they were nearby. The entire reef was uh, like, living, like a living canvas, amazingly rich with marine life. Getting to snorkel around uh, Heron Island was an experience Rachel and I will never forget. For our June theme, we are taking a peek below the waves with a palette inspired by coral reef. <laughs> Inside, you'll find bright hues, specialty mixed glass, and multi-tone finishes that paint a shimmering underwater landscape. Some of my personal favorites include the flashy labradorite, two-tone melon drops, and a collection of Greek sea-themed metals. I hope you'll share what you make in gem chat with the hashtag SamSpeedboxJune23. Uh, 2023 can't wait to see what you make um so sam also includes a list of everything but he usually marks everything really well um, he's saying the retail value this month is 89 dollars, and here are all of the items included including their um retail value which we're starting to see more and more which is awesome it, for those of you who sell your items and um, he's always super responsive if you have any questions let me see what's in the box. Already, let's look at the color mix. OMG, I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna die, I love it. Okay, first things first. Check glass drunk rounds, green opal, six millimeter, about 30 pieces. These are fun, you know we love check beads. Oh, by the way, and I forgot to put this already. If you wanna to subscribe to Sam's Beadbox, check out the link below and use coupon code turquoise for five dollars off your first box um, and there's information about each month's box and how much it costs in my description of this video all right next we have lampwork puffed coin blue zircon and lavender amethyst three pieces these are fun those definitely look oceany especially this color but i like it we got a big piece and then two smaller pieces check glass fire polish and spiral mix dark sapphire and stone picasso 11 mixed pieces Okay, so we have two ammonites, little check glass pieces. These are the stone Picasso. And then we have some fire polish and the, the dark sapphire. So pretty, they're so big, I love those. And then we have two like little spiral cone drops. Those are sweet and they remind me of some vintage check shapes I used to get when I was uh, like in my teens. That is so fun, perfect. Um, like earring mix. Next, we have Czech Glass Art Deco Oval Coral Mix, 12 by 16 and a half millimeter, four piece set. I think last month we had this shape, but not this color. I could be really wrong about that, but I think we got them in last month in purple. These are pretty. I love that colorway. Mm, Czech Glass Preciosa Peanut Silver Lined Ocean Mix three by six millimeter, 18 grams. So I love the peanut shape. I don't have very many of them and I think all the peanut check glass beads that I've gotten are from Sam. So I need to check out Sam's shop some more because I need more peanut beads. These are really cute, love. I love the look of these like being stacked together. Um, love that color mix. Next we have a check glass laser etched seahorse and turtle two mixed pieces. Oh my goodness. Look at, the, look at the turtle that's so perfect i love that he tied that in with his story about seeing the sea turtle and look at the seahorse oh my gosh these are super duper cute i've seen this bead before i have not seen this bead before i need them i need like 20 more so cute oh my goodness more turtles check glass turtle crystal ab and green white silk um 14 by 18 and a half millimeter six mixed pieces 
So we've got three of each. I think, I know I have some of these turtles. I don't know if we got them from Sam in another box, but I don't care because they're so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, look at the AB, the crystal AB. I love those. Cute, cute, cute. Great job, Sam and Rachel. Next we have Check Glass Bill Brio Underwater Glow Mix, eight by 17 and a half millimeter eight mix pieces. Those are so cool and it's such an, a fun name because it does look like a platypus bill, doesn't it? Look at this one. It's purple and turquoise, or purple and blue. It's purple, purple and blue and perfect. And then we've got like a pink Picasso, pink Picasso luster. And then we have a green and blue. That's so fun. I don't think, first of all, I don't think I've ever seen that shape and that size. And those color mixes are awesome. I love this box. Check glass fish, aqua and sapphire, AB, 11 um, by 24 millimeter, four piece set. We can't have an ocean box without having fish. Oh, <gasps> these are so cute. Oh, look at that. I love what they're able to do with check glass. Are these printed? I feel like, I know, I think it's, I can't tell if that's etched or not. If it's just the shape, I, I think it might be a combo. But we have a lighter, like, um, like a light cyan or light cerulean blue and then a darker blue. Next we have check glass leaf, crystal AB and peridot amber mix, eight millimeter, about 20 pieces. Oh my God, these are cute. You could see my face, I was just, <laughs> I just had like the look of shock on my face. These are so cute, they're I like both colors. They're 3D, you know I love leaf beads. Those are so fun. I could have fun working with this box. Maybe I'll do like a sea life bracelet or something, I don't know. <gasps> oh my goodness. Seahorse Pendant, these are all, are they tear gaps? No, these are made in Greece, antique silver plated and lead free. Okay, Seahorse Pendant, 23 by 41 millimeter, Starfish Charm, 17 by 21 and a half millimeters, Spire Shell Charm, uh, four by 16 millimeter, and there's two of the latter pieces. Um, so, and there's also a recommendation for anti-tarnish strips to be kept with these. That's very good information. Thanks, Sam. So look at this. Look, that is so fun. That's a big seahorse. Would be great for painting or patina. Um, oh, I love these fun, wonky starfish. And cute little spiral shells. Those would be cute on earrings. I love it. You know I love ocean and sea themed things. Next we have some size 11, um, 11 O's Toho's, let's see, silver line crystal. Just some 11 O seed beads, great for um, spacers. And then, you know, I don't bead weave, but several of you do, or lots of you do, I should say, not just several. Um, so that'd be great for you. And then we have one, two, three, four, we have six strands, so I'm gonna go back and refer to our paperwork because um, these aren't labeled. So we have the stranded selections here. I'm just gonna kind of put this off to the side. We have the Indian Cut Labradorite Rondell seven um, by nine millimeter, thir uh, three and a half inch strand. I love, love, love Labradorite. Look at the flash. Even though they're like rough cut, they're not rough cut, they're, um, not uniform is what I meant to say. I still love it. Love the faceting, love the flash. That would be a really cute bracelet or necklace. Super duper awesome. Love the flash with these fish. Those look great. Then we have um, Check Glass Druck Rounds Ocean Glow. Um, it says maybe some, oh wait, 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 wait. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, I'm wrong. Okay, so then we have Check Glass Druck Rounds Ocean Glow, maybe some dimpling, eight millimeter, 16 piece strand. These are so fun. Look how bright that is. And I love the rainbow. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. I haven't seen these before, but I love that like turquoise AB on there. Those are beautiful. 
Then we have a Melon Drop. These are Czech Glass Purple Fuchsia Mix, 8 by 13 millimeter, 8 piece strand. Very fun, beautiful color mix. These are Indian Cut Strawberry Quartz Faceted Heart Brios, 8 to 10 millimeter, 12 pieces. Those are fun. Very rough, but very cool looking. Oh, we have a Indian, uh, we have a Czech Glass Fire Polish Faceted Round Purple Fuchsia Mix, 8 millimeter, 16 piece strand. Super pretty. I love that they go perfectly with the melons. So cool. I missed this, so I think we had one, two, three, four, five. We have seven strands, not six. Um, this is a Czech Glass Melon Orange Coral Crystal Mix, six millimeter, 25 piece strand. Slight free form shaping and some air bubbles. I love that he tells you those things up front so you're not questioning or thinking like, did I get a bad strand? Nope, that's the strand he sent. These are, this is a really cool, fun mix. I know I don't have this. these two colors together in a bead. Well, at least in the melon. And then last but certainly not least, we have um, Mermaid Glass Quartz, which is in parentheses, smooth round, ocean mix, eight millimeter, eight and a half inch strand. Look how bright those are. Look how well these four strands go together. Isn't that amazing? I'm super excited. Super excited to work with these. Okay, I'm gonna take a minute, look through everything, and then we'll come back and do a project. Okay, several days later and I'm back and I'm gonna make a necklace. Um, I guess I must be in multi-strand mode because I wanna do a multi-strand necklace. I just made one for um, JTV, but this one's gonna be completely different. I got out some chain <clears throat> and I just wanna use a big old mix of all of these beads. Not all of them are gonna get mixed in, but I just love this color palette. So many blues and greens and purples. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. I had this chain in my stash. I finally found the rest of my chain, woohoo. Um, and no idea where it came from, but we're gonna use a bunch of it. And then, um, yeah, it's just gonna be almost like random. Um, I brought over some eye pins so I don't have to um, use a lot of wire and make um, like use my like my hands will start hurting after a while um, I do have um, a loop one step looper but it's not my favorite tool I, I do like it for some situations but I don't know maybe I might go get it anyway I'm just gonna pour out some of these and I'm just gonna make a bunch of loops and I want to use for sure these two I might come back for the darker fish. Um, I want to use at least one of these turtles. I want to use these beads. Um, maybe a couple of these. Hmm, not the green, I don't think. I think I'm going to go for the cerulean color and then maybe a couple purples. I feel like I wish there was a color between these two, like this one, because both like this one's a little too light and this one's a little too bright. But I think I think I can get it to work. If not, I'll just there's tons of other beads here. I'm definitely gonna be using these. This is my favorite. I love those. Um, I want to use a couple of these purple and blue ones, and maybe even this green one. Yeah, that's cool. All right, and then. Um, I think I want to get a couple of these blue in here. I might come back and get more. I want to use some of the leaves because I like the um, iridescence. Some of the green. I'm not really measuring. I'm measuring with the heart here. And um, some of these peanut beads because they're my favorite. I love them so, so much. I'm just gonna pour them out. I don't think I'm gonna end up using the green, but who knows? Okay, so I'm just going to do a couple things here. So I'm gonna grab one of these, this green one in the middle, and 
one of these. And I don't care which way they're flapping. I'm just gonna, like, that would be ideal, but I don't know if I can get it to stay that way. And then I'm just gonna turn this 90 degrees, cut it, And then I am gonna turn that back and loop it. Okay, and then we have um, a connector. So I'm gonna start doing that. My fingers are gonna be on fire by the end of this. Oh, I love that the fish is that way. It's so cute, so cute. All right, well, I am just gonna go ahead with my merry self and start making a bunch of connectors. Um, oh, I wanted to show you, you don't have to just like waste this piece. Um, I put it through a smaller bead and then I fold both sides 90 degrees and then you just fold back like you would a normal bead or a normal eye pin on both sides. So I didn't want you to think I was being wasteful. There's always something you can do, unless it's too tiny and then I just kind of pitch it, but there we go. All right, I'm gonna do that a bunch of times and I'll be back. Okay, so I made a bunch of beautiful connectors. These are so pretty together. I don't know if this is gonna be enough for what I want, the look I want, but it's a good start. So I am, I don't know what I wanna do. <laughs> like I know what I want the necklace to look like, but I don't know where I wanna start. So I think I'm gonna start with just grabbing um, one piece and I am gonna open that up swing it open just like a we would with a jump ring Cl uh, put it on my chain and then close it so I think I want another bead to be next to this purple one um, let's go with this little leaf Using these leaves is more of like an abstract uh, bead on this necklace because you know we have some vegetation under the in the ocean, but I don't think I've seen any leaves that look like that. And then um, I think I'm gonna put a uh, let's do I'm going to put a blue mermaid glass. Okay. And then I am just going to get a random length here, cut it. And then I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep connecting until my length of chain is the length I'd like it to be. And I think I'm going to do three, a three strand necklace and um, we will connect it probably not in the back, but um, not real close to the front either. So I just did, I'm not measuring. I want this necklace to just be kind of random and more organic than measured. Um, so organized chaos, maybe we'll just go ahead and connect my little peanut beads. I did different multiple or well, different um, variations of three. So I, this one is all clear. I did some with blue and clear, some with um, the lighter blue and the bl darker blue. So it was just however I was feeling. I'm sorry if you can hear my um, dishwasher. I'm in the at the kitchen table again <laughs> and I'll be here until I finish organizing the bead room enough to move back in there all right or to move in there at all I should say okay and I'm not going to do always like three beads so right I do like how th groups of three look but for this one I'm gonna just do 
two. And I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going and connecting as I feel. And um, I'll show you my three strands once they're finished. Okay, so I did my three strands and I, for the most part, it's random. I was trying to not put too many things closely together, but here, like I did this on purpose. I wanted three rounds next to each other. Um, so I, I really like how it looks. I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to hook each strand onto a jump ring. Uh, so I need to find my shortest and my, well, I'm gonna find my shortest, longest, and middle strands. I think this is the long one. I know the one with the turtle is the middle. And then um, the shortest one has the fish kind of in the middle of it. So um, what I'm gonna do here is I have another length of chain. This will be on the back. I'm gonna tr uh, grab a larger jump ring. I had an open one, here it is. Open that a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm gonna slip on um, my chain that's gonna go around the back and then a peanut. And then I think I'm gonna go my shortest which is this one. And I don't want the turtle on the same side as um, my fish will be, so I gotta make sure. Yeah, this is, this is the side for the middle strand. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put another peanut on there, a lighter blue one. Hopefully this will fit all the things I wanted to fit. I'm gonna put my middle strand on. I'm gonna dump out some more of these peanuts. I love these dang things. Another darker blue. Whoopsie. My nails are too long, it's time to cut them. Just forget <laughs> until I'm doing a video. I'm like, oh yeah, these are too long. Normally I cut them when I break one, uh, typing or something. Okay, there we go. And then I will put on, where's my shorter one? Or my longest one, here's my longest one. Okay, and then I'm gonna put on a lighter blue. Sometimes you just gotta be patient. And then I'm gonna close that up. And, oh. There we go. Close that up. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, and I know it's hard to see on here, so of course I'll include some photos, but I just love it. It's so much fun. I love the sound of the beads hitting each other. Um, I don't like a lot of sounds. <laughs> like I know that sounds weird, but some sounds upset me, but I love the sound of beads. <laughs> so um, we've got our wildlife. I actually don't know how our um, turtle and our fish got so close together, but I might change that because I really didn't want them that close. Um, and then we have, you know, going up the other side. It's just completely random. It's so much fun, super beachy, super summery. Um, and I feel like it showcases all the gorgeous beads that Rachel and Sam chose for this month. So if you are interested in Sam's bead box, check out the link below and use coupon turquoise uh, for your $5 off your first box. Uh, stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Have a good day. Bye-bye.
cutie. <gasps> what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Hi. You're so cute. Oh, okay. Go back to sleep.